Hello, Paul Robinson from bushcraftcanada.com. Okay, got a knife today that just came in. We've got a, uh, I can only literally just get this in the camera actually, it's a big knife. Um, got a few of these just come in. This is part of Bark River's historical range they do. They do some excellent products. This is a very, very interesting knife this indeed. Uh, like I say, it's part of their historical range. This is the Edwin Forrest Bowie. And uh, this is Bark River's take on a knife that uh, was originally owned by Jim Bowie and uh, given to the actor Edwin Forrest and this is like I say Bark River's take on that knife and you can see it's a big big piece of steel this is A2 steel of course excellent quality steel A2 very underrated you know but a, a, a really excellent tough steel uh, and um, you know still a, a mainstay of Bark River's production it's uh, tough uh, easy to maintain a good edge holding um, you do have to look after it a little bit but it's an excellent steel like it shouldn't be overlooked really I mean it's one of those steels that uh, is time tested and uh, has stayed the course it's a uh, and this is a big piece of it 4.74 millimeters thick and the blade is 12 and a quarter inches long 17 inches overall length but still a very nice balanced knife actually in the hand like, it's really surprising Nice tapered handle, obviously not quite a coffin handle, but tapered. Um, you can see full broad tang there. This is natural canvas. Has those six small pins and three large. And uh, this brass cap. Like it's a really nice, comfortable knife, actually. They're surprisingly comfortable, those uh, handles, that shape. Um, so a really interesting piece from um, Bart River. This would still make, you know, an interesting outdoor knife. An historical collector's piece, that kind of thing, and uh, you know, or just collecting for the sake of having a beautiful Bark River knife. But um, yeah, a large piece, solidly made, fit and finish is uh, very, very good on these, and a full convex grind there. You can see the blade there, like I say, almost five mil thick, tapering very nicely to the tip. I'll try and get a little reverse shot in there for you, just to, just to see. Really interesting knife though. I don't think they did a big run of these, so there aren't that many available. Um, but we do have a few in stock. And of course a big knife like that, you get a big sheath. Very big piece of leather there. Nice, thick, well stitched. Belt mountable obviously. With that snap to retain the knife. And uh, those hollow rivets in there. Very big chunky piece of leather. Of course, there is quite a bit of weight with this knife, 18.6 ounces, as you'd expect, for a big, big piece of A2 steel like this. But like I say, if you're interested in the historical significance, or you just want to try a big knife like this, um, or you just collect bike river knives, this is definitely worth a look. Camera's struggling with this one. <laughs> but you can see them on our site, bushcraftcanada.com. Uh, just have a look under Bark River Edwin Forrest Bowies. As always, you can just give me an email, paul at bushcraftcanada.com.